Hello and welcome. In this video, we are discussing about a Java Server Pages security. So, Java Server Pages and Servlets make several mechanisms available to web developers to secure applications. Resources are protected declaratively by identifying them in the application deployment descriptor and assigning a role to them. Several levels of authentication are available, ranging from basic authentication using identifiers and passwords to sophisticated authentication using certificates. So role based authentication. So the authentication mechanism in the servlet specification uses a technique called role based security. The idea is that uh, rather than restricting resources at the user level, you create roles and restrict uh, the resources by role. You can define different roles in file tomcat-usage.xml, which is located of tomcat's home directory in conf. So the file defines a simple mapping between username, password and role and notice that a given user may have multiple roles for example username equal to both is in the tomcat role and the role one role and once you have identified and defined different roles role based security restrictions can be placed on different web application resources by using security constraint element in web.xml file available in the web inf directory so the entries would mean any http get or post request to a url matched by slash required would be subject to the security restriction a person with the role of a manager is given access to the secured resources. The login config element is used to describe basic form of authentication. If you try browsing any URL including the security directory, the dialog box will be displayed asking for username and password. And if you provide a user admin and password then you will have to access on the url matched by secure as we have defined the user admin with manager role who is allowed to access this resource so form based authentication so when you use the form authentication method you must supply a login form to prompt the user for a username and a password. So the symbol code of login JSP helps create a form for the same purpose. So you have to make sure that login form must contain the form elements named username and a password. And the action in the form tag must be j underscore security underscore check. Post must be used as the form method at the same time you will have to modify the login config tag to specify the auth method as form. So now when you try to access any resource with URL under hyphen secure, it will display the above form asking for the user ID and password. And when the container sees J underscore security check action, it uses some internal mechanism to authenticate the caller and if the login succeeds and the caller is authorized to access the secured resource then the container uses a session id to identify a login session for the caller from that point on the container maintains the login session with a cookie containing the session id and the server sends the cookie back to the client and as long as the caller presents this cookie with the subsequent request then the container will know who the caller is 
and if the login fails then the server sends back the page identified by the form error page setting so here j underscore security check is the action then applications using form based login have to specify for the login form and in the same form you should also have a lot of text input control named j underscore username and a password input control called j underscore password so when you see this it means that the information contained in the form will be submitted to the server which will check name and password how this is done is server specific check a standard realm implementation to understand how j underscore security check works for tomcat contain so programmatic security in a servlet or jsp so the http servlet request object provides the methods which can be used to mine security information at runtime method and description string get to the type so the get all the type of method returns a string object that represents the name of the authentication scheme used to protect the servlet boolean is user in role java.lang.string role the is user in role method returns a boolean value true if the user is given in the given role or false if they are not string get to protocol so the get to protocol method returns a string object representing the protocol that was used to send the request and this value can be checked to determine if a secure protocol was used boolean is secure the is secure method returns a boolean value representing if the request was made using https a value of true means it was the connection is secure and a value of false means the request was not principle get user principle so the get user principle method returns a java.security.principle object that contains the name of the current authenticated user so for example a java server page that links to pages for managers might have the code like if request.is user enroll manager href equal to managers slash mgr report dot jsp then href equal to managers slash personal dot jsp personal records so by checking the user's role in a jsp or servlet you can customize the web page to show the user only the items he can access and if you need the user's name as it was entered in the authentication form you can call the get remote user method in the request object so this was a brief discussion on java server pages thanks for watching this video bye for now